Hello guys, so today's lead code daily question is a pretty hard question. It's string compression 2. It says that uh, uh, there is a string compression method that works by replacing consecutive identical characters repeated two or more times with the concatenation of the characters and the number marking the count of their characters. For example, uh, to compress the strings a a b c c c we replace a a as it repeats two times so we replace it by a2 and as c it repeats three times we replace it by c3 so the new string becomes a2 b c3 and uh, we have to notice that in this problem we are not adding one after single characters okay uh, <coughs> sorry and we need to delete and our aim is that we need to delete most k characters from such a string s that the run length encoded version of s is minimum length so as it says we have to find the minimum length we are going to use dp okay so i have created a documentation of it i guess uh, i'll share it uh, i'll share the github text file with you uh, you can refer it uh, refer to it later uh, so this is the documentation okay this one is okay first uh, first I have taken uh, I have defined the state of, of the DP here here I have defined the state of the DP uh, that uh, and the state transition will be just uh, straightforward okay if we have any K left then we transition the DP to K minus 1 and then else if uh, else if uh, there is uh, any index that double equals to the current uh, chain character then there's no need to add anything to the answer otherwise uh, we would have the length the chain length because that would mean that we are ending this chain and starting a new one with this current character so this is the next uh, state transition unfortunately the space complexity of it is uh, big O n cubed okay so uh, the observation that we have made is whenever I end the chain I add the number of characters which are equal to each other and equal to the very first element of the chain to the answer this number of characters doesn't change from one state to other so we can use prefix sum to calculate the chain length if we know the start and the end of the chain it is similar to getting the number of occurrences of, of an element in a certain range in this problem the element in, is the element at the head of the chain the start is the start index of the chain and the end is the current index we are at okay so the final solution is uh, a, we have the new state as this and the state transitions are as follows if we have any k left then we transition to this k minus 1 else uh, we decide on the chain start for the next call if the current character is not equal to the chain start then uh, then we start a new chain at the correct correct index otherwise we use the same start of the chain okay if the index not equals to the chain start we need to compute the length of the chain to add it to our answer we we can do this prefix sum array that we are going to pre-compute chain frequency by this transition and simply do this okay so the final set transition will be this it is clear that the memory and time complexity is big O n cubed. Uh, as uh, we have n is less than equal to 100, then this is what we need. Okay. So these are some notes that we you need to follow. I'll share it. Please refer to the description. And this is the code. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. This is the code. I'll share it in the I'll share it in the comment. Okay, so thank you.